Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you what's new to the Photos app in iOS 26. In the Photos app, there are quite a few new things and uh, let's open them up. You can see uh, already that the icon has changed a little bit. I'm gonna show you uh, on my old iPhone um, how it used to look. You can see a slight difference, but a good one, I think. It's really, really nice. Um, now let's go to the Photos app and you can see that there is indeed a difference. Um, maybe let me put th those phones side by side. <laughs> of course they want an airdrop. But you can still zoom in, zoom out to have a different grid size. Of, of course that's like very normal. But in iOS 18 the um, gallery app was rearranged and I know that not, not all of the people liked it. And I, I'm all, all, all in with them. I really get that. Um, you can see it's all on one page. Here you have the library. Then below the library, you have everything else. And you can, of course, customize everything here. Uh, so you can like remove the memories, memories or trips or something else. Um, like, as you can see here. But this was the layout, just one page, basically. Here you have two pages, the library, which is just your library of all photos you have, or collections. And this is like the bottom si side of the old uh, photos, not, not so old because it was only in iOS 18. In 17 it was uh, different uh, because like I think that from iOS 7 all the way up to iOS 17 the uh, gallery layout didn't change. Then in iOS 18 it was changed a lot and now just a slight change to set the library in a different tab. I think it makes a lot of sense now. Mm. And uh, feel free to also click on reorder once you have the iOS 26 on your device. Um, you can see you can reorder those or I don't know if you can delete those. Um, I think that you were able to do that here on the old version. Yeah, you could unselect it, but we don't know yet how it'll be in the official release of the uh, iOS 26 because it's still the first beta, so there there's a lot of things that may change. Also, you might have noticed in the library, there is this button which lets you uh, sorting either by date captured or by recently added. Uh, so if you, for example, download an image from someone, if, like from somewhere, from the internet that has a date ca of capture older than today and or, or if you get a picture airdropped by someone who also took it uh, like mm, you know in the past then um, if it's sorted by date captured it may not appear as uh, the first position of the list instead it'll appear in between those uh, pictures that are actually from the dates around the uh, date of the capture of that image. But if you set it to the recently added, then um, if someone airdrops you a picture, it doesn't matter when the picture was uh, taken, it'll always be as the newest picture. So I prefer that, honestly. You can also filter things uh, here. And you can also see view options like zoom in, aspect ratio grid, so yeah, that's this that's this thing. Then you can also show or un or hide screenshots. That's great and shared with you. Um, you can also see the glass design, of course. Um, I really like this design, honestly. Um, then you can also basically click on three dots here to change the views here. It's also great, I think. And I hope that this video was interesting. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this new Photos app. 
and see you in the next one. There also are a few other videos on the channel about the iOS 26, so feel free to watch those as well. Mm, and see you.